Washing dishes. Everyone does it. Although actually in my house, my common-law husband does the dishes. It's actually funny, my father washed the dishes when I was growing up, so I wonder if that's why. There is a dark side to washing dishes, of course. I actually destroyed uh, the fine patina on a prized appliance that I had invested in. And it wasn't until I went to a friend's house and I remarked, you know, your blender looks so clean, but you've had it longer than I have. Why? How is that possible? And then it hit me like a ton of bricks that I had been using the wrong sponge. It's useless now to me. I can't have it on the counter as a display piece. People don't comment on it. It's hidden away with the trash underneath the sink. If you don't have the skills, it's not gonna end well. My name's Kate Berlant. I'm Kate Berlant. This is Kate Berlant Teaches, and I'm gonna teach you. And I'm gonna teach you how to wash dishes. I have here for you a vast array of sponges to choose from. Please pick your favorite sponge and join me at the sink. The main lesson here is to have a wide array of sponges to choose from. Some days you need a round one, some days you need a square baby. I just like the way it feels in my hands, you know, I feel like I could really go at it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Hallie, I really love that one, if, if I may. Oh, yeah. Because it actually, you have the ability to do that. <sighs> so you can be working, 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 and then, is that my son? I haven't seen him in years. And you can go. Now that each of you has selected a sponge, why don't you pick a dish that you think corresponds to your sponge? I'll take this one. Yeah, great, great choice. Can I get the skillet? Oh. <laughs> oh, I want the yellow one. Thank you. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Justin, what would you do with yours? Um, swish it around like that, mm -hmm. and it's great. done. That's a very advanced technique. Yeah, beautiful. Sarita, I hate to tell you this, but uh, that's a cast iron. Cleaning a cast iron is one of the most elevated forms of dishwashing. I know a lot of very advanced dishwashers that still struggle with their cast iron. What should I do? I don't even know where to start. Trust me, I wish I had time to teach people how to wash a cast iron, but there aren't enough hours in the day. Look elsewhere for that. Hallie, how would you tackle that dish? Um, well, I'd scrape the food out, maybe try to soak it a little bit. You know, this dish falls into a very rare category. Uh, for me, I would toss it. Okay. I always say, sometimes with the dish, don't be a martyr. Toss it, hun. There's no point. Water temperature is complicated because it's very subjective, right? Someone's hot is my freezing. Someone's scalding is my lukewarm. My lukewarm is someone else's chili. Mmm, that's nice. I'd like something warm but not too hot, right? And then we just dampen it. That's a really great amount. It's very wet. And just a pump will do. Mm. This is the perfect amount of soap. This is really kind of a cover girl of a sponge right now. There's so much going on and people kind of go, I don't want to do this, right? And that's why you hear, do the dishes, do the dishes, because no one knows how and everyone's passing the responsibility to someone else. I don't want to embarrass myself, so I'll make them do it. They're going to see that I don't know what I'm doing, so I'll make them do it. And I'm going to select just a classic plate here. And then I just start at the rim. You just kind of let it dance all the way down to the center and then scoop up and then down. See, concentric circles and they spiral out. Yeah. Do you see that? Do you see that? Are there any questions so far? Great. I call this the cyclone. I mean, just <laughs> rotate. I'm not casting towards myself. I'm casting away any of the infectious diseases that might be caught onto the mug. Did you get that? Yeah. yeah. This thing is filthy. Another classic dish is a bowl. We're going to enact an incredible technique. It's called double rotation. Oh, it's just an incredible way to get something off a dish. You're going to rotate with this hand, and then with the sponge, you're also going to rotate. You have a double rotation. Whereas if I just had the bowl stationary and I was rotating, Oh, God. You will be here all day. Um, Kate, I wanted to ask you about the doggy bowl. Yeah, I'll do a double rotation on this. Germs adapt to a certain rotation, so if they go, oh, she's coming, right? So you go around the other way. There's different techniques for different dishes. Are we getting this? Are we getting this? Yeah. Good. And remember, when you're washing a dish, that's your time. Enjoy yourself. Let your mind wander. Get ideas. Get creative. Think about your life and what you've done and what you haven't done with your life. Huh. What did she mean when she said that? Felt hostile, I wonder if she meant it that way. And then next thing you know, oh, I've thought about my life and my dish is clean. So clean. Mm -hmm. So clean you could eat, a, could eat a dinner off of it, <laughs> right? This was great. You were also attentive. I feel like you were really learning, really listening. Yeah, see it as a creative act because in many ways it is.